episode 3469, Go Beyond the Noise. Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy, happy day. Are you ready to raise the roof? Because it is Inspiration Motivation Day. You thought I was going to tell you it was Friday. No, it's not. It's Friday Junior. Oh, yes. Have you ever had that? Where it's like you kind of get yourself acclimated for, yes, I get this. Well, guess what? You got to go beyond the noise. For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already even had the opportunity, you want to head on over to CreatureNow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy, Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Oh my goodness. What do you not have going on? Can I just say this summer has been kind of a little bit crazy? Did you know the Olympics are starting in like 24 hours? I mean, how exciting is that? Okay, you know me. I love sports. I love the Olympics. I love the stories. I'm going to bring it here for you, and we're going to learn a lot. And, you know, I think when we go through life, it's just tough, right? We have usually more downs than we do ups, but we don't have to look at it that way. Our downs can be ups. Because I look at our world, and our world can often muffle our melodies of our dreams. And it's easy to feel like our voices are mere echoes drowned out by doubts and uncertainties. Don't relinquish your dreams and aspirations. Go beyond the noise. You know, you could consider this noise a symphony of skepticism. Like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, can I really do it? And it can lead us into this maze of questions that echo through the chambers of our hearts can I really do what I'm created to do? Does my purpose truly matter? Do I really matter? You may have had that conversation with yourself even today, maybe yesterday, maybe every day you have that conversation. Am I good enough? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? These questions like unseen shadows in the night can haunt us to the point of casting doubt upon the once bright flames of passion that flickered within right? And we want to ignite that again. Yet amidst the whole thing of uncertainty, there remains a small steadfast voice whispering in the recesses of our minds, urging us to keep moving forward, press on, seek out the embers of your purpose that still glow within. Go beyond the noise. But it's unfortunate we end up just kind of nah, pitter-pattering ourselves through life. We dance here and dance there, and we take these dancing detours, and then we're like, but what about? And then we forget, and then all of a sudden, something happens in our life, and it's like this little flicker of, oh, I remember. And it's in this silence that envelops us where the noise of the world fades into this hum, and that's where you rediscover your passion. It's in this quiet space that we have the opportunity to listen, not to the shouts of external influences, but to the gentle murmur of our own hearts. Where is your heart beating today and what is it beating for? Because here in this presence, you can sift through the clutter of doubts and fears and really get to the core of who you are, the essence of who you are becoming. In a world that silences the whispers of our dreams, may you find the courage to speak words of wisdom that echo through the corridors of your soul. This serves as a beacon of hope. You're a lighthouse. And you can sit here and complain and fuss and have all the frustrations of the world, but understand this. If you are that beacon of hope, it's a reminder that though the world may strike you down and and seek to drown out your voice, your dreams, your value even, you possess within you a power to rise above the clamor and make your voice be heard. So how do you keep moving forward when you feel like, I'm just too tired, I'm done pushing, And I'm not saying pushing where you're trying to make things happen. There's a difference. I'm saying you have that fortitude. 
that says, yeah, I got to forge ahead. I can do this. Even when the road is shrouded in darkness. How do you reignite the flames of passion that have been dimmed by the winds of uncertainty? I think when we start to hit this, oh my gosh, we're on a downhill, right? We had climbed the many months and now we're the second half of the year and we're like, oh man, I don't know. And you're in that in-between season of the kids are home. Maybe you're an empty nester, but they're coming to visit for summer sessions. (laughs) And you're like, can they just go back? (laughs) Whatever it is, right? But how do you begin to say, I got to get beyond the noise. I got to relate back to who I am and who I am becoming. My friend, the answer lies not in society's loud declarations over you, but in the quiet strength of your own convictions, this unwavering belief in your intrinsic worth, what you see as who you are, your purpose, your reflection of who you are and who you are becoming. So in the hush of solitude, find the courage to listen to the whispers of your heart to heed the call of your deepest desires, to step boldly into the light of your own potential, right? One step at a time leads to miles of greatness. What if you were to take that torch? Maybe that flame isn't real bright right now, but you can keep adding fuel to the fire and it will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And with that, you take that one step every single day. What would happen if you were 1% better today than you were yesterday? One step at a time leads to miles of greatness. And it's in these moments of stillness that you uncover your most authentic self, who you really are. And it's sad that I think a lot of people are burdened by who they think they're supposed to be, that they really don't know who they are. But when you understand who you are, then you're unburdened by the expectations of others and unrestrained by the chains of doubt. You know, the world may seek to silence you, but why not be the one who speaks words of wisdom, who sings the songs of your soul, And who dances to the rhythm of your own beating heart. For it is in these harmonious songs where there's hope. And that's where you'll find not only your purpose, but also the unshakable conviction that, my friends, you matter. You matter. Your dreams matter. And your voice matters. Yes, you need to be seen and heard. You are called to create your now because you were created for more. Go in peace, be present, be incredible, be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a glorious blessed day. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.